When it comes to the far end game of Final Fantasy XIV, we have two extremely notable pieces of content and rewards. We have the Necromancer for Palace of the Dead, and Ultimates. Necromancer is a marathon of a task, taking hours and hours for a single attempt, but typically only gets hard at the end of that attempt. Ultimates are marathon fights filled with quick, complex mechanics and really pushes players to their limits. These can last up to 20 minutes. I've at least experienced Necromancer attempts, and I've done tons of Ultimate. And I just felt there was a need to talk about it due to some things said through the player base and opinions I've been seeing more and more of. Ultimate is very much some of my favorite content. It really does push me, makes me want to find ways to push out more DPS with how the fight works and so on. Remembering and mastering the mechanics I'm forced to deal with gives me a rush that often even Savage doesn't give. It really does feel different in such a good way. It's content I do not recommend to anyone without them being willing to push themselves to beat. It's a huge step up, especially over normal content. I've met plenty of people who even bow out before finishing even the first phase. It's not for everyone, that much is for sure. You don't just casually go in and get a clear. You need to be mentally ready. And yet, I do recommend it. Push into doing that harder content, push into improving yourself, and push into ultimates. A lot of people don't consider themselves all that great, or capable, and often don't even make the attempt. I instead implore you, make the attempt if you have even a passing interest in doing this kind of stuff. If you have any little bit of desire to do ultimates, do them. You can do it. Some people might be afraid of how hard the mechanics are and how they can't get it down in a pull or two. Well, besides the fact that there are guides made for these things too, you don't just do one or two pulls and you're done. You're going to be doing these mechanics hundreds of times, especially the ones at the start of the fight. Every time you pull and make it a little bit further, you still had to do every single mechanic up to the point in the fight you've learned. You learn a little bit more every pull. You get a little bit better every pull. In the Epic of Alexander and the Omega Protocol especially, there are memes about this. Doll memes and looper memes. Parties who have cleared or capable of clearing will be wiping on these mechanics. Mechanics that are at the very start of the fight. Mechanics they have cleared hundreds of times. Trip-ups happen, exhaustion and such, but doll memes never end. Looper, you never escape. They're not just first, they're the first you screw up. And that may have scared you. Hundreds of pulls? That's too much to do. Too much time. But it's not all at once. It's not back to front. It's a few hours here, a few hours there. Statics typically only meet a few hours a night and only a few nights a week. Party Finder, the schedule is up to you. Feeling like doing some runs? Check Party Finder or even make your own party. As long as you are having fun with it, What's the problem? You're playing a game and enjoying it. Sure, there's a lot of other stuff you can do, but what's the problem with putting in a lot of time over weeks and months into this one thing if you're enjoying those hours and want to continue to do it? If you take 10 hours over a week to progress through the fight, and after those 10 hours find you don't like it, you only wasted 10 hours. But now you know you don't like it. You aren't just assuming it anymore, You've proven it to yourself. But for those of you who still have an itch to keep going, how were you going to learn it without trying it? You can only assume and have expectations on whether or not you'd actually enjoy yourself there. Doing it? Getting prog and seeing new parts of the fight? Oh wow, that sure was a great feeling. Let's do it again for this new phase. And then again. And then, oh look, you cleared. You got a title and a shiny cool weapon. Then there's also the people who think they can't do it because they're just not good enough in general for ultimates. That they can't get good enough. Buddy. Friend. Person who is just watching this because those previous two words don't exist. You don't get good to do ultimates. You get good in ultimate. Top teams for ultimate, the absolute best players, they go in day one and still need hundreds and hundreds of pulls. People who can parse mechanics and learn from them quickly still need tons of experimenting and learning. The context is admittedly quite a bit different, but in top, some teams got entirely walled on phase 4. This phase is a pure DPS check. 
There's mechanics going on and plenty beyond that, but there's no secret thing going on. No missing buffs, no secret mechanic to activate, just dodge the things and do damage. Don't do enough, die. People got walled here hard, and there was plenty of speculation about what special buff you have to find in the previous phases. Nope, just didn't do enough DPS. The DPS checks here were pretty damn rough, to the point that you had to base your group rotation around beating phase 4. Beating the other phases by miles, but can't beat 4? You gotta adjust some stuff. Even groups you might consider gods still probably got walled here in the initial blind days. They had to learn what the fight wanted of them, not what they already knew. They knew what they already knew, and used that to adjust to the fight's needs. And you will be in a similar place. You can go in knowing mechanics from studying, go in with far better gear than we had on launch, but actually experiencing it is a whole other problem. If you really need a slow start, if you are afraid to do Endwalker Ultimates, start with the weapon's refrain. It is by far the easiest of the fights, and it's really being hit hard by power creep. But the fight speed? Still fast. The final phase? Still hits hard. A lot of what made that fight is still there. It's a lie to say it isn't way easier now, but it's also a lie to diminish the achievements of people who have cleared. I once randomly joined a clear party, with tons of rust and fear all hold them back. In that party was people who hadn't cleared, and a very well-known super hardcore streamer. Take one guess as to who it was who kept wiping us. Well, I only screwed up Predation, which is recoverable, and the non-cleared people were pretty consistent. So you know, if some people want to fuck around and find out, maybe we need to stop gatekeeping the achievements of Ultimate Legends. Maybe instead, you celebrate the people who earned their clears, and then encourage them to take the next step. More clears, more fights, more fun. Let people celebrate their success, especially when they're doing better than people who puff up their egos. And speaking of egos, PayPal legends, stop caring. They're wasting their money and such, but focus on what's important. If you care so much, maybe go start working to help people get legitimate clears? Do what Sausage Roll and friends are doing? Join parties and help? There's a lot of people who are still trying to do it the legit way. There are parties full of people. How about we worry about supporting them before caring about all these people you aren't even seeing? You can see those party finders though. So yeah, go do ultimate. It's hard, it's punishing, it will put you through the ringer. But you can do it. You can win. You just have to try, and you might even find you're having more fun than ever. And those of you not at the point of ultimate, the same goes for you trying extreme and savage. If you're an extreme player, you're already a savage player because they're roughly comparable. I won't go into more details here, but point is, do it. Close. The same goes for necromancer. I might not have nearly as much Close. experience there, but I know enough to know it's tough but rewarding. The Deep Dungeon community is extremely devoted to their craft and will have tons of resources for you to learn off of and clear with. If this is your fun, this is what you should be trying to do. Three. Your time is up to you. Close. Nobody can tell you what is worth the effort except for you. Fun comes in many forms and whatever you find fun is up to you. And nobody should be allowed to diminish your achievements. The fights are easier now, but it's still very hard and very much mean you did a good job. And then, like, I don't like tools, but they definitely make top way, way easier to handle. There's still a lot to deal with and memorize and all that, but boy does it take a lot of the pressure off of some of the harder mechanics. We can have fun, worry less about time, and worry more about whether or not you're enjoying that time. And you can't know if you'll enjoy it, if you never try it. Take care, and may the power of Anne and Nidhogs lay waste to your enemies.